Hi everyone, welcome back to another video which is again in the Tiffin recipe series. Last time when I put few recipes, many of you requested for more. I am anyway cooking for kids Tiffin 5 days a week. So I thought to share with you all few simple yet tasty Tiffin recipes for your kids school which can even be had as a breakfast for anyone or a snack in the evening as well. Hope you will like it. Keep watching. Beginning with a sandwich. That's a combination of vegetables, egg, cheese and such. Heat some oil and saute one large onion and three green chilies, both chopped to small pieces. To this, I'm adding chopped carrots. You may add more veggies like cabbage, beans, or any other. Make sure you chop to very tiny pieces that kids don't understand what's in there. Add the carrot to the onion and cook till soft. some salt, half teaspoon crushed black pepper, around half to three four teaspoon cumin powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon red chilli powder. You may skip the chilli powder if you want. Mix everything well till the raw smell leaves. That's chopped coriander leaves, just a little. To this add eggs. Here I'm adding 4 eggs and then scramble well. Now this quantity made 4 double decker sandwiches. So you can increase or decrease the quantity of ingredients accordingly. Finally goes in some cheese. This is mozzarella. You can use any type. That's a handful of mozzarella I added. And then mix well. Check salt and add if needed. Now take 3 slices of bread. I normally don't trim the edges of the bread. If you want, you may do so. Spread 2 or 3 spoons of the egg mix onto 2 slices. Now place as shown. And the sandwich is ready. To make it extra tasty, heat a teaspoon of ghee or butter. Make sure flame is medium. Place the bread and let it turn to a golden brown color on both sides. Now cut in half, rectangle or triangle, whichever way it fits in the tiffin. And place the cut sides again on the tower and heat for a few seconds. This is optional but it helps the filling to stay in place. And there's the egg sandwich ready to be packed. Next is another dish that you can have it in your tiffin or even as an evening snack with tea or coffee. It's like a tiki or a wedge burger using leftover chapati. For this you will need one large potato. Cook the potato either by boiling in water or like how I'm doing which is steaming. Boil on medium flame and it will take almost 10 to 12 minutes. Then you need one medium onion, a small piece ginger, one green chilli, few curry leaves and some coriander leaves. Chop everything into small pieces. I had few chapati left from the previous dinner. I had 5 medium sized chapatis. Add that to a blender and crush till they become small granules. So here's what you need to get. Add the chapati granules into a mixing bowl. To this goes in all the chopped ingredients. Add half to 3 4 teaspoon cumin powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, that's for a color and mild flavor, some salt and then goes quarter teaspoon crushed black pepper. Crumble everything together. The potatoes are cooked by now. Use a fork and check if they are soft. Add the potatoes and mash well. Now if you don't have a masher, do mash the potatoes first with your fork and then add into the bowl. Mash till everything is well combined and you are able to make it to a cutlet shape.
prepare all and time to fry them you may deep fry or shallow fry use oil or ghee fry them on both sides till it's golden brown color these are buns slice in half melt some butter and keep the flame low place the bun on it after 20 to 30 seconds turn to the other side now place one or two here i'm placing two cover with the other slice and give a gentle press so that it's slightly mashed inside don't press hard or else the bun can go out of shape Now we can place it as such or slice in half. And there's your simple wedge burger ready for kids. Next is a savory pancake stuffed with veggies and sausage. It's almost the same way how I prepared chicken pola in one of my recent Ramadan video. Here I've used broccoli. Immerse it in hot water for 3 to 4 minutes. Chop one small onion, chop one carrot. Make sure you're chopping everything in small pieces so that when kids have it, they don't know that it's in there. Heat two or three tablespoons of ghee. Saute one tablespoon chopped garlic and half tablespoon chopped ginger. Let the raw smell leave. To this goes in the chopped onion, two green chilies that's again chopped and the chopped carrot. Saute for 2 minutes. Then goes in almost 2 cups chopped chicken sausage. Instead of this you may add cooked and shredded chicken or even tuna chunks. Now if you are a vegetarian, do add soya chunks that's cut in small pieces. Add salt, half teaspoon crushed black pepper, 1 teaspoon cumin powder. Half teaspoon turmeric powder. Mix everything well. Let the sausage cook on low flame. Meanwhile, chop the broccoli into small pieces. This comes to almost one and a half cup chopped broccoli. It depends on what you want to add. Instead of these, you can add green cabbage, capsicum, purple cabbage for extra color to the dish. Just chop everything to tiny pieces, that's all. Finally goes in a handful of chopped coriander leaves. And it's done. For the pancake batter, into a blender goes in 1 cup all-purpose flour, 1 cup milk, 3 eggs. Now if you are a vegetarian, you can add half cup corn flour. 1 teaspoon baking powder. Some salt. Half teaspoon crushed black pepper. And 3 tablespoons oil. Blend to a smooth batter. Here I've used my tiny pan to make mini version. Heat a tablespoon of ghee. Pour half cup of the batter. Then on top, add 3 tablespoons of the mixture. Then cover it with half cup of batter again. Cover and wait for 3 minutes. Time to flip. Be very careful when you flip. Flip to another tower that you can place on heat so that you don't have to transfer. Cook this side for another 3 to 4 minutes. Poke the center with a skewer or toothpick and see if it comes out clean. And if it does, then it's ready. I had used the tiny pan thinking it can make pancakes that can be placed in the tiffin as such. But no, I had to make it even more smaller. So sliced in four to pack in the tiffin. Next is a sweet paratha with apple and peanut butter filling. 
for this take 1 cup whole wheat flour to that go salt and 1 and a half tablespoon oil mix well then knead the flour to a dough adding warm water i use just half cup water for kneading knead to a soft dough let it rest for 15 minutes now grate one apple in a smaller blade or bigger one it doesn't matter to this goes in one heap tablespoon peanut butter mix well add one tablespoon cheese any spreadable cheese or even grated mozzarella cheese is a good option. To sweeten, I added 1.5 tablespoon powdered jaggery. Add a pinch of salt for balance. Mix everything well. Now you can make this a simple filling by mixing just the cinnamon powder and jaggery in apple and it becomes like an apple pie. Forgot the main ingredient that's half teaspoon cinnamon powder. Peanut butter and cheese are optional ingredients to make the filling extra creamy and tasty. Now take the dough. This quantity prepares 3 parathas. Take one and roll. Now spread ghee on top, a teaspoon or two. Fold into square. And roll again. You may repeat by adding ghee on top and folding and then again rolling. It makes the paratha more flaky. I did only once. Add 2 tablespoon of the filling onto half the portion. Now cover with the other half. Time to cook. Add a teaspoon of ghee on a tawa. Now place the paratha. Make sure the flame is low as the inside of the paratha needs to get cooked. Add some ghee on top and flip it over to the other side. Cook both sides till they are nice golden brown color. This one was already done and it's very creamy and tasty. Time to pack. Next is like a tip I wanted to share when we had leftover pizza from the previous dinner. Be it rectangle or triangle, just place two pizza slices facing each other and place it on a grill or waffle maker to heat them. You may add extra cheese in between if you want. And then it becomes like a pizza sandwich. Kids insisted on keeping pizza in the tiffin and hence this. And that's all for today's tiffin recipes. Do try these for your kids or even for yourself and I'm sure you'll love them. Share your feedback on my Instagram or email. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.